What's up everyone? So this piece is an adaptation of one of my earliest kinetic sculptures right here, Rose on Gear. But this was done with laser cutter and acrylic and I wanted to make something that's 3D printable so you guys can make this at home. I designed this piece to be given as a gift instead of flowers. It's still a rose, it's still a flower, but it will live on forever and I really like that. If you want to hear more about the design process behind this piece, check the next video. For now, this video, we're going to talk about how to assemble this once you've downloaded the files and printed them. So let's get right into it. I'm Jay, this is JBB Creative, let's create. So one of the goals for this project was to keep the mechanics simple and let the aesthetic speak for itself. And I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I printed this whole thing in about 15 hours on my Ender 3 and it only used 200 grams of filament, so like a fifth of a roll. The great part is if you're in a pinch for a Mother's Day gift, and I know you've been worrying about it for the last month, I've got your back, it's right here. The first thing we're gonna do to assemble this is we're gonna put together this crank. So grab the knob, put it into the end of the crank that's not the hex side and C-clamp that into place. Now grab this thick gear. You can throw the knob on the end of that hex sticking out of that thick gear. And then grab your base, and this will go on the shaft that's furthest from the other shafts. Just pop it on the end, and then you can C-clamp that into place. Next, take this other medium-sized gear that's a little bit thinner. That will go on the middle shaft. You can C-clamp that into place. Then grab this small gear that goes on the longer shaft on the other end and you can C-clamp that into place as well. Now take your biggest gear, pop that onto the end of that shaft. And at this point, you're gonna wanna give it some rotations to try to loosen everything up. This big gear is gonna spin in a different direction from this shaft. So just make sure that you're getting that motion. It might take a few cranks, but once you're pretty satisfied with how it's moving, you can take your rows and that will just pop onto the end of that shaft. You might have to push it over the C-clamp, but it will go. So now you're gonna grab your stand piece. That is gonna fit into the slot in the side of the base and make sure that the high point is pointing towards the rose. Push it in, make sure it's all the way in place and then you can pop that into the base and that will just pop in like that and that's it. I do recommend squirting a little bit of WD-40 into all the areas that have a little bit of friction. So all the shafts in between the gears that will loosen things up a whole lot. It's crazy how much this makes a difference. It's amazing. I swear by this WD-40 stuff. It's all you need, you can get it anywhere. the download files there's also the option for this wall mounted version which you would assemble the exact same way as this piece but the only thing to keep in mind is you have to mount the base to the wall before you put the rows on so there it is a perfect gift that you can give to someone instead of flowers that will live forever all you have to do now is wrap it put a nice card on it and then make whoever that you're giving it to really happy when you give them this spectacular one-of-a-kind piece of art. Thank you guys so much for following along. Again, if you want to know about the design process behind this, check the next video and I'll see you there.